Welcome back to another video from the most consistent uploading channel on YouTube, it's just wild. Today we're looking at the slash fill command. I think I've looked at it before, but we're going to do it in slightly more detail this time. So let's get into it. So you start off the command exactly as you'd expect with slash fill, followed by two different coordinates. And these coordinates signify the start block and the end block that will be filled. So it'll fill the entire area in between in the X, the Y and the Z dimensions because we're playing a 3D game here. So if this was say 000, and this was 555, it would fill a five by five by five cube starting at 00 and ending at 555, basically. I'll show you this a bit later on when we do a little practical. So yeah, as I said, these are the X, the Y and the Z coordinates. So if you see at the very top left there, minus 66 is my X, four is my Y, and minus 12 is my Z. So if I move upwards, my Y is changing. If I move this way, my Z is changing. If I move this way, my X is changing. Basically, you get the point. Worth noting, you can also change this. So what I have here are tildes. And what this means, you should be able to find a way to do it. Your keyboard will probably have a tilde or if you're on a phone or whatever, you can either copy and paste one or the, you might have it in one of your different keyboards. But these tildes signify the block that's being that you're at. Basically. So if you type this in in the console in chat, it will start tilde, tilde, tilde is the block that you're at. So if you did tilde minus five, it will be five blocks behind five blocks minus in the x or for the tilde tilde minus five it'll be five minus five blocks in the y so five blocks below whatever or you could just type in coordinates so you could do 7 45 90 you know you could type in coordinates just like that so if we do this in chat right here we have slash fill tilde 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 this is filling the block we are currently at or we could do such for tilde minus two tilde minus two tilde minus two tilde two tilde 2, tilde 2. So this is going to fill the blocks to, you know, every side of us. Now you choose the block you're filling it with, and this could be anything. It can be air, if you wanted it to be, or let's just, let's just do, for example, amethyst block. There we are, beautiful. My favorite block in the game, definitely. Now then, data value of 1, and now you have five options here. I'm going to go through them all separately, but for now, if we just press this, we're a bit stuck, aren't we? We filled a massive little block here with amethyst. It broke all my command blocks, but that's all okay. So, now then, the different things you can do. The first thing you can do is destroy. And what destroy does is break the previous blocks that were there, allowing them to drop as items for you to pick up. So, for example, if I had a grass block here, and I filled this area, and I filled this area with air destroying it, beautiful, it destroys. This has been filled with air. Obviously, if I filled it with like stone or something, it would still drop this. But I just used air for argument's sake because it's, you know, pretty easy to do. Destroy is obviously useful if you want the pickups. I'm not sure why you would because if you're filling in massive areas, you probably don't want the pickups because that would be very annoying. The next one you can do is replace. And what replace does is allow you to replace the area without destroying it. So it's basically destroyed but without get dropping the blocks. However, with replace, you can do what another one does, keep which is where you can select specified blocks to replace. So let me show you, for example, here. If I wanted to fill in this entire block, but only replacing air, keeping the amethyst, I can do that. So here, if I fill in all of fill in all of this entire block here with barrels, just because I chose barrels, replacing air, as you can see, I, I filled in a bit of a too big area, but only the air is being replaced. As you can see, though, because there was a little hole up here where I had to dig myself out. So only the air is being replaced, not the barrels. And I was just fiddling around with this a bit because it didn't seem to be working, but it's worked. I did the same thing with keep. So what I did is I typed in this, so I did slash fill, starting coordinate, end coordinate, and the block, whatever it was, whatever it would be, one, keep, and I just pressed keep. And what keep does is it keeps all the blocks that were in that place beforehand, so it only replaces air. So it's not the most, it's not as useful in my opinion. I mean, obviously if you want to replace air, you can do keep, but it's better just to remember replace because you can select to only replace the air anyway, but replace is also better because it works with any block you want to replace. If you wanted to replace all stone with diamonds, but keeping the air for caves or whatever. It's also worth noting that you don't have to use one of these specified things like keep, destroy or anything afterwards. You can just do slash fill, tilde, 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 tilde. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, bamboo, for example. You can just do that. And if it with bamboo. However, if you do this, it's it automatically resorts to a place because that's just the one it resorts to. Now then, I need to clean this up eventually, but before we clean it up, there are two last things you can use after the slash fill command. And that is hollow or outline. They do the same thing. They make a hollow structure, basically. So if I were to fill from here all the way to the other side. So here, if I were to use this command, filling the, all this whole area with, uh, with emerald block, we can either use outline or hollow. Either way, 
fills that, it's hollow. It's got rid of all the previous blocks, because obviously that's going to get rid of all the previous blocks. But if it makes a hollow, lovely little whatever it is there, I've destroyed this little setup here. Oh, well, that's fine. Which is obviously quite nice in some ways, especially if you're trying to build a massive stadium. You could use this and then just clear out the roof using as another slash fill command, but filling only that area with air. Okay, so a few minutes later me here now, because I didn't realise that they changed the slash, the slash execute command. So it took a while figuring out what the changes were. I've got this working. The last thing I'm going to say today is you can use the slash fill command. You can run it in an execute command to fill at wherever a player is. Or you can use it, make it more complicated to make them have to hold certain objects and then they are filling in or basically clearing out the objects that they're holding from the area around them. It, you, you can do lots of things. I've done videos all over the slash execute command and all sorts of commands. So you'll be able to find things that you can use. But for basically what this is doing here is the new slash execute command, which I don't really know how to use, but it's not too difficult. It's just a bit confusing. I'm executing at all players with a tag just so I don't always have it to run a fill command which is filling all the blocks to minus two and plus two so basically all blocks four blocks around me in every direction with air uh, replacing the em emerald blocks just to get rid of this so turn it on and it's filling in all these emerald blocks with air uh, just for the fun of it because why not it's a slight, a slight bit laggy because obviously that isn't four blocks away I mean, it's it's nice it's kind of cool it's obviously quite helpful if you want to clear massive areas at once and maybe it's too big to use a slash fill command or something, which often is the case. Just use a command block, set up a ticking area, and then just run around like that, filling with bigger numbers before, after these, the tilders than this, in minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, 10, 10, 10, or whatever. Filling in everything. You can do that, and it's a pretty cool idea, and I love it. So yeah, that was a little video on the slash fill command. It's not a complicated command, to be honest with you. That isn't loads and loads you can do with it. You can kind of go into block data types and things like that. And, you know, you could say f only fill leaves that are decaying or something. It's There's a lot you can do, but it's not command specific. It's just general identifying some very, very specific types of blocks with different data types. Which is confusing for a lot of people and also unnecessary for nearly everyone. Because why would you want to fill only slightly de like decayed leaves or something? Like it's It's not really the most useful thing in the world. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed your regular scheduled upload from this channel and thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you and appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video.